Hey, what's happening? Guy and Zeltan here, aka Retro Old School. Well, yes, sir, she is done. I finished her yesterday. I wanted to make this final video of this 747 last night, but uh, eh, way too many people in this park in the afternoon and the evening. So I figured if I got here in the early morning, I could pull it off and there wouldn't be many people. And uh, of course, uh, being a perfectionist as I am and some of the things I do, like how I carefully planned building this uh, this plane, I wanted to show it off also in a really best way possible too, you know? And yeah, as you can see, what's cool about it is that it looks like it's on landing or takeoff. And um, that really wasn't supposed to happen. Actually, the hardest thing to make on this plane was actually the landing gear. And uh, so, <clears throat> if you look here, it's a nice build, I'm proud of it, but the landing gear on the fuselage is too low. And that's because you have to when they're built you have to put them in these like boxes rectangular boxes and then you glue the boxes to the fuselage inside but uh, it didn't work out too well I don't know it was either it's my fault or it's also a poor design give you a look underneath here other than that it's very it's a pretty straightforward kit instructions are well done engines are easy to assemble actually come to think of anything about these if you look at the uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the motors are supposed to be two fans, but I broke two of them, so I only was able to install uh, four fans instead of eight. There's, there's supposed to be like two fans on each motor. And uh, yeah, this is really cool. This is really why I wanted to do this in the low sun here, here in this park near my place, to show, give it a touch of realism, you know? It looks really cool like that. It's a bit too bad, like I said, about the fact that it uh, it's not leveled. But again, it looks like it's uh, on takeoff, you know. You know, so. And again, compared to yesterday, there's like nobody here, almost. So it was really the best time to do this. And it's funny, when I finished it yesterday, I thought to myself... You know, and by the way, if you haven't seen the other parts, all this here, the AA logo, the stripes, all that is, I did that by hand with paint, with acrylic paint. But if somebody, you know, wanted to buy this, I would maybe sell it, but not right away. I would definitely want to enjoy it for a while. You know. I'm just kind of like lying here. Uh, what do you call this stuff here? in this park it's like wood chips you know and uh there's a little bit of a part of the american letters here that i accidentally scraped off right over there right here but i'm like ah whatever it looks it makes it look like it has age you know like it's not perfect You know what I mean? I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say about this. I think one of the only regrets I have, apart from kind of fucking up the landing gear and the fuselage, not a huge regret, is right here where I did the uh, the chrome tape thing all around the fuselage, but here I should have done it in one shot instead of like two pieces. Focus. Yeah, like see right here, I should have just done like I did on the other side. So it doesn't look very good. See on the other side, it's just, it's just one shot deal, you know? So, American Airlines Flight 751, uh, ready for takeoff. Well, apart from the occasional person going by, it's not so bad, eh? I'm very pleased. Especially considering I haven't been feeling too well the past few days, so I'm happy to say 
I'm happy to have gone out, but you know, sometimes you got an idea to do something, you're not feeling well, it's daunting, you don't want to, you know, you don't feel like really doing it, you're like, oh, I'll do it some other time, so I had to kick myself in the ass to get this done, you know. And we'll get a little bit of a one last perspective here. Let me actually grab her from the other side. Can I do that? Oh, here we go. Jeez, I'm stupid. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I wanted to get this thing higher up. There we go. Right here. I should do it. Not the best. Not the best looking place that way. Yeah, let's try that over here actually. And I was up early this morning, man. That's when you know you live in a fucking ghetto and there's graffiti on a picnic table, for Christ's sake. What are you gonna do? <sighs> ah, sweet. Look at that. It looks even better than before, I think. I could even do like a little walk around. Eh? And I hope this video inspires you guys to maybe build your own plane or car or truck model boat. But uh, I don't know if I would build a ship or a boat because those things take forever. They're actually massive and it seems like they have hundreds and hundreds of parts. You know? Yeah, the Ravel Boeing 747-1400 scale. And as I mentioned in my other videos, this was originally in Lufthansa. Lufthansa livery. And um, not that I have anything against Lufthansa, but I'm really old school. And this livery, the old American Airlines livery, was my favorite. So... Oddly enough, the kit was built in Germany. I don't, I don't understand that, but anyway, whatever. You know. Get one last view here. Pretty cool, looks pretty realistic. That's exactly what I was going for, you know? That's exactly what I wanted. Actually, I wanted the sun to be lower than that, but whatever. It's all good. Just taking my time with it. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that and, uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, if you want to uh, show your love and support for my channel, even though it's not the best time in history to ask, but hey, uh, you know, you want to send me a nice gratuity, a token of appreciation, you can do that with my email, which is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. eltonmcfall at hotmail.com through PayPal or an Interact e-transfer. And uh, ah, thank you very much for watching. And... Also, I was thinking before I did this, it seems kind of symbolic in a way to be filming this more than ever because I never made a plane model before, you know? And there ain't as many planes as there usually are flying, like zero, practically, so everything must come to an end, eh? Let's do a little flyby. Anyway, you get the idea. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye. Oh, jeez, I'm a moron. I didn't even take any pictures. Jesus, Murphy.